Today we're taking a look at our Thule Wing Bar Evo Roof Rack System with the custom fit kit for your 2019 Kia Sorento. The Sorento is a great vehicle for different types of situations. You have a lot of space inside for your friends and family, but you also have the ability to go on those different adventures. Now, what if you want a roof rack to carry around those different types of accessories though? Let's say you want to carry around kayaks or a roof box or a roof basket or even a roof mounted bike rack. In that case, an aftermarket roof rack like the one we have right here might be the solution for you. So this is the Wing Bar Evo roof rack system with the 47 inch long Thule Wing Bar Evo crossbars. We also have the Evo feet for fixed mounting points and then we have the custom fit kit for your Sorento. So make sure in order to get all of those things that matches your vehicle to use our fit guide here at eTrailer.com to find the kit for you. What impresses me with this one is the ability to move the crossbars wherever I want them to go. That's not usually something you would find for a fixed mounting point um, vehicle. So here I have it set to 34 inches just because that's where the backs of the mounting holes are in the back of the flush rails. You can move that forward though up to 36 inches if needed, which is where the end caps or the top caps are on those rails. So here's some roof measurements with this too, because every roof rack will have a different height that it adds to the top of your roof. Ours here is at top of the glass roof to top of crossbar, four and a half inches. That's where your cargo is gonna sit. If you have skis and snowboards, especially the skis with the extra tall bindings, you wanna make sure that they don't hit your roof. So if that's the case, you now know that clearance and you can take a look at accessories that give you more clearance if needed. The second measurement is the space underneath the crossbar. So here we have it at three and a half inches. So some accessories have clamps that go around. This is gonna be plenty of space even for those with wing bolts and uh, wing nuts and U-bolts that go around. As for overhang, you have a little bit, but not that much with the 47 inch crossbars. You can actually adjust it or offset it to one side or the other if needed, but you are limited to around, we have one inch of clearance here. You can maybe push it out to an inch and a half or two inches if needed. So not that much for some accessories that require a certain amount of overhang clearance. So for security, if you have T-Track mounted accessories, the end cap pops open just like that. So then you don't really have that much security for those. Make sure you get locking T-Track mounted accessories if that's what you're looking for. Another thing is the tower. So you have these plastic locks included with the ability to upgrade to metal lock cores. So for the plastic locks, you just need to use a flathead screwdriver or the back of a key, and you can now pop that end cap off and get access to that Allen key tightening down those clamps. So in terms of deterring theft, you may wanna check out those metal lock cores as an upgrade. So installing this is actually pretty simple. You just have two different clamps. You have the special foot pad, and then you have the bolt that goes onto your tower. So we're gonna start with the tower, and then I'm gonna show you how to get that onto the crossbar and then we're gonna get it onto your flush rails. So first, this is gonna be our first bolt. So this is the bolt on the tower, and then we're gonna get this clamp onto it. So see how we have this hook part that goes out, and then we have the two prongs. Well, those two prongs go into your tower, fit that bolt through, and make sure this is sticking out. And then get your rubber foot pad. All of them are going to be the same, which is great because you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. Then this is going to fit over that clamp and then into your tower. Finally, get the clamp with a little slot on top. That slot is going to fit into the first clamp. So go up and then down and then make sure that there's space for that bolt to peek through. So that bolt is peeking through so you can get this nut onto there. So see how you have that Allen head side open there Then you have the threaded side on the other one. You're gonna get that onto your tower. You may have to move your tower a little to get it lined up, 
but just gently or lightly thread it on there. Now make sure that the end cap is off of your crossbar. You're gonna slide this tower through, bring that all the way down. Feel free to put the end cap back on. And then you're gonna bring your crossbars and your tower up onto your flush rails. Just get them in the general location you want them in. And then you're gonna measure for the width of the crossbar, so make sure it's an equal length on each side, but you're also gonna measure for the crossbar spread so you can see how far apart from the other crossbar you want it to be. You're then gonna use your tool to tighten down on that bolt. So this is gonna tighten the clamp to your flush rails. This has a torque setting, so just keep turning until your tool clicks. Once all four towers are tightened down, the next step is to get your plastic lock that pops in through the end cap of your tower. And if you're using, or maybe you upgraded to metal locks for your tower, this is the time when you install it now. Your tower end cap is just gonna fit into your tower. And you have to push in for it to lock into place. And then you're gonna just gonna use a flathead screwdriver to turn that lock into the locked position. And that's how you know that your end cap is secure on there. So just double check that all the towers are properly clamped down and that all the end caps are locked and on your towers. And after that, that's it for the install. You're ready to hit the road. And that was a look at the Thule roof rack system with a 47 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars and the custom fit kit for your 2019 Kia Sorento.